My News 26 and CCTV. It's high school basketball. Coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. And welcome back to Cadillac High School. 48-29, your final as the Cadillac Vikings defeat the Gaylord Blue Devils in boys Big North basketball action. Jay Simon and Kevin Gregory with you. Well, the Vikings, after opening with three straight wins, lost six in a row, but now they've won three in a row. And this one, a repeat over the Blue Devils and uh, in pretty impressive fashion as they led this one from the beginning, overcame a mini Blue Devil run early in the third quarter and uh, just really were never in danger in this one. Yeah, they got out to that quick start. I think it was 11-2, 11-4, something like that in the first quarter and uh, kind of just controlled the tempo the whole, the whole game. I just was really impressed with, again, the defensive effort and all around just... just uh, aggressiveness that they showed on both ends of the floor. I mean, that's what they're going to have to do. As I mentioned, the last game, to have the kind of success they're going to want to have this year, to battle on the boards being undersized and to get two and three shot opportunities on the offensive end and limit and limit the other team to, to you know to one shot. And they did a good job with that against uh, Gaylord's size tonight. Really didn't allow them to, to beat them up on the, on the interior. Just a real good game from an intensity standpoint for these Vikings. We know they've got talent. They've got a number of sophomores around the varsity last year, that kids that can get to the rack, that can shoot when they're open. One of the things we talked about last year with Quinn Crago was the offense, not, and I don't want to sound like a criticism of Benzer, but you had Quinn Crago. Crago was a great interior post player, and so they looked to get him the ball a lot and it seemed like a lot of those outside kids were afraid to shoot the ball or a little unwilling to shoot the ball. And now this year, without that real strong post presence, they're just doing a really good job of distributing. It's a frenetic pace, but it's a controlled frenetic pace, if that's not an oxymoron. And uh, it's been fun to watch these last few years. Yeah, it has. And it, it seems like they have a lot of interchangeable parts besides Kahani and besides Tip Baker. But it seems like everyone else kind of has the same look to them, the same six foot lengthy athletic type body and and they're just playing to their strengths they're getting out and they're you know crashing boards and they're finishing at the rim and and i think they had three three-pointers tonight tip baker and two by keegan brooks and if cadillac can hit three to five three-pointers a game doesn't sound like a lot three doesn't but that extra nine points that's huge yeah that did a nice job of shooting tonight keegan brooks had those both of those three-pointers in the third quarter when the Vikings outscored the Blue Devils 15-10 to 10 to extend their lead. As mentioned, just never really threatened in this one. Meanwhile, when you look at the Gaylord Blue Devils, like I said, I got a little bit of a man crush on Blake Charbonneau. That sophomore, he's got elevation. He's not afraid to go at the rim. Just couldn't buy a bucket tonight, and it, was, it wasn't just Charbonneau. I mean, there were a number of Blue Devils. They got a lot of really nice looks, especially on breakouts where they really never let the ball touch the floor, a lot of passing back and forth just couldn't finish today. With two and a half, three minutes to go, I believe 228 to go is a 12 point game. That's six layups. Do you think they missed more than six layups today? I, I mean, I, if you make half of your missed layups in that game, it's a, the complexion of that game is completely different. Yeah, I can't disagree at all. And credit the Vikings, you know, their defense obviously has something to do with that, but there were a lot of good looks that, I, I mean, I don't know how many times, if I had a nickel every time I said in and out, I wouldn't need to be paid to do this. <laughs> For the Blue Devils, they were led by Drew Neff, who finishes with six points. And they got nine players into the books tonight as Cade Coonrod finishes with five, Nick Rowley with four, Jordan Gopinski finishes with three, hit a three-pointer in that fourth quarter, Jared Landry with three, and then Justin Grish, Blake Charbonneau, and Charlie May all with two points apiece. Charlie May, we didn't mention his name in the second half. I know he got into a little foul trouble, but I don't know if... Uh, there was an injury situation there, what that might have been. We didn't see him much in that second half. The real problem for the Blue Devils as well, 4 of 15 from the line on the night. So they struggled from the charity strike. Yeah, when you start talking about the layups that we've mentioned all game longs, and uh, and you start talking about 4 of 15 from the free throw line, that's a, that's a big deal. A lot of missed opportunities left out there for you. Got to hit the easy ones. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, Keegan Brooks leads the way with 14 points. Clayton McCarthy finishes with 12. That might be the quietest 12 points 
you'll ever see as he got, I'm betting all six of those buckets on putbacks underneath the basket. Cooper Benson finishes with eight. He had all eight in that first quarter. Flurry at eight of their first 10 or 11 points and then didn't score again, but a nice job of taking care of the basketball. Because you were talking about his shoes too much. You took the power away from him. You gotta let it sit. You can't <laughs> You can't haul it out. It could be, it could be. Tip Baker finishes with seven, including that three. Jacob Kahani, Vinnie Genema, and Tanner Cochran all finishing with a bucket apiece. Cale Mickelson goes one of two from the line to finish with a point. The Vikings just five of 13 from the line. I forget, uh, I think it was the, the was it the girls game? Cadillac Petoskey or the boys game? Cadillac Petoskey were so impressed with their free throw shooting. I want to say it was the boys Cadillac Petoskey. I don't remember. We were so impressed with their free throw shooting. Tonight, not quite the same. Nine of 34 from the line Ooh. combined by these two teams. Might be some extra free throw yeah. shooting going on at practice tomorrow. But uh, a well-played game, a hard-fought game. And uh, as mentioned, the Vikings move to 6-6 six and six on the season. The Blue Devils fall to 2-8. And, eight. and uh, for Cadillac, they will take on Kalkaska here at home. And then on February 3rd, they will welcome Alpina before going on the road to TC Central on February 9th. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils host Alpina on January 30th. They're at Charlevoix on February 1st first in non-conference action before hosting Petoskey on February 3rd. So as we mentioned last time, the Big North really kind of wide open. Petoskey was unbeaten. I'm not sure if they still are when uh, when they were before. Well, <laughs> no, it was Cadillac play Petoskey. Did we have them on this broadcast? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah we had Cadillac that already. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, yep. so obviously they're not unbeaten anymore. Right. Kind of like no more than a game behind the uh, uh, the Northmen. So the Big North is getting tight, all that to yeah. say. <laughs> the Big North is getting tight. And this is a big win at home, protecting home court for the Vikings. Definitely got to protect home court. And, you know, you mentioned Alpina, and you said you got to welcome Alpina. You always welcome Alpina because if you don't welcome them here at home it means you got to drive three and a half hours <laughs> east to go play them there I mean just some travel involved in the big north so when you can get a chance to play a Friday night game at home and handle your business that's good moving forward nothing worse than a three hour bus drive to play basketball Blech. my goodness gracious Hey, I want to thank again to Munson Healthcare Cadillac Rehab Services for their support of tonight's broadcast here on 26 Sports and CCTV also want to thank Cadillac Tire, High Point Cadillac, GMC, and Pizza Plus for their support. And, of course, we have to make sure we thank the hardest-working crew in television. Benjamin Ari was on camera one all night. Sean Strachan down on the floor on camera three. Kaylee Buck on camera two. And Dakota Pike, the commander, running the show from the director's chair in the truck not too cold out there. He was probably all right, if I had to guess. Also handling graphics on his own. So uh, running the show completely in the truck tonight. 48-29, your final. The Cadillac Vikings defeat the Gaylor Blue Devils. For Kevin Gregory, I'm Jay Simon. Thanks so much for being with us, folks. We'll see you next time here on 26 Sports.